Hi guys, how's it going? It is me, Megan again, and I am back with another thread up box. If you are new to my channel, I am a reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, uh, but mostly Poshmark. And today I believe that this is the woman's reseller box. It came from Arizona, which I'm excited about because my two favorite thread up boxes so far came from Arizona. Okay, so I believe I ordered this box April 4th and it said it was supposed to get here between the 22nd and the 26th of April. I waited until I think the 22nd and then I sent them an email saying I haven't received my shipping information, which happened with my last box, but I got it anyway. Um, and instead of replying just the next day, I got a shipping confirmation that it got sent out. And then I think within the next couple of days it got here. And yeah, we're gonna open it. We're gonna see what we got. I will say that the woman's clothing, this is again, the mixed clothing box of 25 items, mixed sizes. Um, I will say that out of the men's, the jeans, and this one, um, this is my least favorite, but I am excited because last time my box came from Illinois and I don't know if that really makes a difference, but all my good boxes came from Arizona. Um, I also got a receipt in this one, the last time I didn't get a receipt. Tissue paper on top. This is what you see. It's really dark in here, I'm sorry. Let me open it. And I'll just start pulling stuff. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, everything's wrapped together. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I take back like all the mean things I said about this box. Look at this North Face jacket. This is gorgeous. It's a nice heathered gray with like a mint green coloring. It's nice and thick. This feels like that waterproof material, not like one of their normal fleeces. It's a size large. I'm gonna have to keep this. This is so nice. Oh my goodness. Wow. I do see some like dirt marks on the inside and hair, but I can easily get that out. I don't see any other problems. This is really nice. It smells good. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. North face. Size large. And our next item. This is cute. It's like a floral little tank top. There's no tag as you can see. So no size. If I had a guess, this would probably be an extra small. I mean, it's very cute. It's a very nice. It feels kind of silky satiny and I love it. It's very cute, but I don't know if I'll list it just because there's no size and there's no brand. So that might be a hard sell. And this is nice. The long plaid skirt with these little like leather buckles. <laughs> this is like a genuine wool, like Irish skirt, <laughs> which is definitely the vibes it was giving me. Um, from Blarney. This is pretty nice. It's a big like safety pin in there. Um, so probably like a kilt, a traditional kilt maybe. It's very nice like pleated. This is super cute. I love the strap details and it is 100% wool. You probably saw the, it's a size, oh, Great Britain 14. All right, ooh, J. Crew dress. Sorry, you can't really see the whole thing but it's a nice little black dress with some frills on top it's in okay condition again just like mostly like hair and it is a black dress this is nice j crew suiting size 10 i'm not sure if that's factory when it has those two dots but i know for some brands it is it seems to be in pretty good condition i'm happy with that oh it is a wool Bandex blend. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Do you see that? All Saints jeans. Excuse me. Size 27. It is a low rise and it is gray. But these are nice. All Saints is a great brand. These actually don't look very low rise to me. I'll measure them and I'll put that in the listing. 
But these don't look very low rise. These look like mid rise. Skinny gray. These are actually a really nice color. These are nice. I'm wondering if they give me a good, at least so far, good box since they forgot to ship me one, but I'll take it. Okay, so now we got some dress barn leggings. Three dollars. That's how much someone paid for it. Originally eighteen dollars. Oh, size small. I was gonna say I'd probably just keep them. Um, but small is not my size. Interesting. Okay, we'll take this out. Pink tartan. Never heard of it. It's a size large. So we've got some good sizes. This is pretty cute. It's a nice little like boat sweater with these big nautical buttons on it. I don't know if you can see. It's soft. Feels like it could be another wool. Yeah, it's another wool blend. All right, and now we got this stretchy little mini skirt. It's from Express, it's a size medium. This is nice, stretchy stripes. This one does have a bit of a stain right on the front, but nothing too major that looks like it'd probably just come out. It kind of looks like a makeup stain. So we got some shorts, got the little pocket on the back. I feel like I'm being punked or something. <laughs> like this box, to, what? Lululemon, Lululemon shorts, size six. Are you serious right now? Back pocket, like navy blue stretchy. I don't see anything wrong with them. I honestly cannot believe this right now. This is like too good. <laughs> BCBG, oh, these are two different things, but BCBG generation, no tag, no size tag. Um, this is interesting, like, dress or beach cover-up. I think it's pretty cute. It has this nice, like, fringy bottom to it. It's very lightweight. It's like a crochet knit almost. I had to guess the size. I'd say either a small or a medium. Oh. Oh, it's like a poncho. Oh, that's funny. Maybe it's a one size situation. <laughs> this is nice. This is definitely like a very cute like beach cover up. I didn't see any other material tags on it. But if I had to guess, I just think it's cotton. All right, so the next one is this nice like, ooh, this nice ruched business blouse. This is really nice. The brand is Isabella Marnet. Or, the brand is Isabel Morent and it's made in Poland. This feels like it could be like silk. So there's some fraying but I can't really tell if that's intentional or not. I'll have to take a closer look. It's a size 38. And it's 100% silk. Mm. Interesting. I'll have to look up this brand. But yeah, I think the fraying is intentional because it's like all along the top also. This is really nice. Is anyone surprised by this? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Good girl. Something new with tags. Originally $30. Sorry, I'm just looking at the tag. Oh, this is kind of nice. It's like a really long satin, like, robe or wrap dress of some sort. It's called Privy, Privy, Privately Privileged. I do think this is some sort of, like, maybe lingerie item. Oh, it's from Forever 21. That's so funny. A woven dress. $30. I mean, it's nice. It's a nice, like, satin, really long, size large, but it seems pretty small to be a size large. Okay, so this is a baby extra extra small studded gold like high low mini skirt this is nice all right another express piece i get a lot of express pieces when i get these boxes 
some business trousers, some nice skinny bottomed business trousers. Again, well, maybe they, they weren't self hemmed, but they don't look great. Skinny mid rise size eight stretch. These are very nice business pants, guys. Another Lululemon piece. What? So this says like Lululemon like all around the waist. This one's very, very tiny. Um, but it's like a little flowy bra top situation. <laughs> Workout top with like these strings at the bottom that you can pull and it gets like ruched. That's her right now. Um, wow, these, the, I'm two Lululemon pieces. I'm actually really shocked. So when you kind of find the size on one of these and like that size tag I showed you earlier is ripped out um, with like the bras and stuff, a lot of the times they're in like the bra padding area. If I can't find it easily, oh, yep, see like, I know my lighting is so bad today and I apologize because it's dark outside, but this is like the bra and this is like where the pad insert would be if you open it. Eh. Let's see, it's a size two. Very small, very small, but stretchy in really good condition. Okay, so this was a common thread size small. This is what that's called. Um, this is okay top. I don't know if I'll resell it. I'll have to look up the brand. It has like blue roses, it's like a blouse, like a, a button detailed. It does feel like silk, and there are pockets. That's nice. Yep, 100% silk. So, I might take my chances again. I'll have to look up the brand. It's not ugly, it's just a little older styled. This whole thing, like everything is wrapped in each other, and it's so hard to like unravel. The funny thing is, I already know what this item is because I own it. And I could tell you already why they didn't sell it themselves. This is funny. Okay. This is very funny. Okay. Spiritual gangster one size. Oh, so blinding. It's a robe that I own personally. And the reason this is funny is because this came in um, those, they came in those FabFitFun boxes. And they're probably so saturated because um, Spiritual Gangster is a very good brand and I will still do something with this. But the quality specifically of this robe is just really not good. Um, I wear it and I like it, um, but I just know that it's, it's just not that good. It's see-through and it's lightweight and there's a lot of strings that come out of it. And also, like I said, it's just saturated and probably the reseller's market people got it, didn't want it. Um, everything in the FabFitFun boxes I can usually find online pretty easily. Oh, these are nice. So this is J. Crew Matchstick 28 short. It's like a white straight-legged crop jean with some fraying. I will say every time I get white jeans or white pants in these boxes, they're always so dirty. And that's probably why they don't try and sell them because they don't want to have to deal with washing them. But these are like a nice, I could think mid-rise. I'll have to measure them. And the fraying is very cute in J. Crew, and it's not factory or outlet or what have you. So that is exciting. This feels like, I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a top. It's a top. Um, Gungia is the brand. I don't know what that is. There's no size on that tag, but it has these like bunch of little sleeves. It's very sheer. It's lightweight. It's like a shiny gold color champagne all right so these are chico's um size two which i think in their sizing is not like a, a tiny size two i'll have to check but i think it's like maybe a 2xl perhaps um they have these nice like faux leather pocket details in a very stretchy waistband these are nice they're like harem pants but like professional harem pants Oof. 
Is this like another dress? Oh, another Chico's dress. I've never sold Chico, so I'm kind of excited to try. It's a size two. This is a nice, very like um, Hawaiian almost style dress. It gives me tropical vibes, even though the colors aren't very bright. It has like a bathing suit kind of material. It's probably just like a very stretchy spandex. It's like knee length. Yep, spandex and polyester. We got snow pants. I feel like I got snow pants in another box, but I can't remember. Here, what kind of these? These are Polar Edge size small women's. I don't know if Polar Edge is the brand, but I can look it up. Snow pants. Like a weird high waisted back. I don't know very much about like snow things. Um, maybe new without tags because it has this plastic thing, but no tag. Alright, what is this? <laughs> so there's no tag, no size. The only indicator of anything is that it says pinks with an S on the side. So not Victoria's Secret. Um, very interesting, like, chambray bomber jacket with, like, see-through mesh details. It's cute. Button sleeve. It's, I don't know. I guess I'll try and look it up from just the word on it. So this item has a belt on it. I feel like they probably give me a whole bunch of good stuff and then they're like, okay, we gave you a bunch of good stuff. Now we're just gonna give you all the unbranded items that we have, which is fine. I'll take all that good stuff. Storettes. Storets. It's not like a material tag, but that's all it says on it. This bow is really nice. It feels like a linen. Um, off the shoulder white dress with this blue belt. All right, last two things. New with tags, size 14. <laughs> uh, Cabin Creek. Short. Yeah, shorts. Oh, no, skort. Shorts? Skort. No, shorts. <laughs> it's official. It's shorts that look like a skort. These are kind of vintage looking. Um, Cabin Creek, size 14. Stretchy. And then this is our last item. It's this really pretty floral navy item. Hawthorne 41. I think that's a Nordstrom brand, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, Hawthorne 41. Size medium. This is really nice, just really nice floral blouse. Awesome. So I'm just gonna go and quickly officially count everything that I've taken everything out of the box, and then I'll let you know how much for price everything is. So there was 25 items. I didn't pay shipping on this one. There must have been a code or something for free shipping at the time. So everything is about $2.40, which is amazing because so many items in this box are worth so much more than that. Like if you saw my other box, sort of box um, of the women's, the same box, like the women's mixed clothing box, that one was just so much more disappointing. Um, like out of all, this is my fourth box. It was just like, it was okay. It had some nice like bigger sizes in it and some cute pieces, but this has a lot more name brand items, which in general are just easier to sell, um, but also like some really stylish pieces. That North Face jacket, the Lululemon items, the All Saint jeans, like crazy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you a better idea as to whether or not you would like to purchase a thread up box. And I hope you guys are staying safe and finding new and interesting ways to source during this hard time. And I will see you guys all next time.